Hey guys, today's adventure takes us to Seward, Alaska, where we're hiking up to Exit Glacier for a little bit of ice climbing. Yes, which is awesome and super it's cool great. and so exciting, except for the fact that we lost the really good footage. Yeah, boom, right through the heart. It was totally my huge mistake. But hey, it happens. I'm not going to hash it out here. I've actually gone into detail on our website um, because it hurts too much to talk about it. <laughs> But if you want to learn from my mistake, please click over and read in depth of what I did. Yes. But the good news is yes. we were rolling more than one camera. Yes. We were rolling the Sony action cam on a selfie stick and a GoPro on my helmet. Yeah. So not all is lost. We still captured the moment and the memories yes. for sure. Just not with the sharpest, most clear camera and Or audio. the really good audio. Yeah. <laughs> but we still have it. Yes. So it's a great story. It's a great adventure. So let's roll it. We'll roll it. <laughs> Enjoy. This is such a diverse experience because we start off hiking a mile and a half up, gaining 1,400 feet in elevation, all through a hot, humid, and insanely lush rainforest. It's a beautiful journey that we sadly have no evidence to show you. But the really good stuff starts here, where we go from the rocky moraine to that first step onto the glacier. And when Nikki says we, she's referring to these other people. But they're not just strangers. It's my mom, sister, and aunt who've all flown out to join in on the action. And of course, there's our two guides. None of us have ever done anything like this before. We're all newbies. But within minutes, we're preparing for our first descent. For me, rappelling down's a little bit nerve-wracking and exciting, and my heart is pumping fast. Just 10 minutes ago, I'd never swung an ice axe before, and now here I am standing at the bottom of a crevasse ready to climb my way out. all so thrilling. I know my guide has me. I trust the ropes and plunge right into it. I'm like a monkey in a tree. It seems fairly natural, fun, and not too scary. We all made it out like champs and we're ready for more. Glaciers are always moving because they're literally rivers of ice. But this glacier moves around a foot per day. And because of climate change, it's melting even faster. This is what makes ice climbing so exciting and challenging, especially for the guides. No two days here are alike, and what was climbable yesterday may not be today. So we're gonna check out the Mulan, which is where the water just like pours down into the ice. Because we all did so well, our guides are feeling confident we're ready for something a little more extreme. But I'd say this looks a lot more extreme. Yeah, buddy. Okay, ready? Here we go. Woohoo! You got it, man. I got you. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Descending into this crevasse is ten times scarier than the last. I can't see my feet, I can't see the bottom, and one misstep and I feel like I could bash my face in on this solid wall of ice. It said you come to Alaska to face your fears. I have no idea why I'm afraid. I know I'm in good hands. I know the gear can hold 10 times more than my weight. Nikki is somehow fearless, but for the rest of us, we challenged our bodies, but more importantly, we've challenged our minds. In the end, we all managed to make it over that ledge, and this feeling is almost <laughs> euphoric. This is awesome! Okay. All right. Woo! Yeah. Ow! Oh. oh man, this is 
is fantastic. Taking that last axe swing and crawling back to a horizontal world is different for each of us. I'm exhilarated, feeling accomplished, and at this moment, I know this will not be my last ice adventure. But for the rest of us, it was something different. My Aunt Cindy's brought to tears. My mom and sister have come up with mixed looks of relief, happiness, and sheer exhaustion. And me? Well, Oh yeah, my heart hasn't beaten that hard. I've raced that hard in many years, so. 100% worth it. Worth the uh, water, the rain, the cold, the wearing the wrong gloves. 100% worth it. And these guys, these guides, your life is in their hands. So fortunately they're not drunk or stoned or anything, <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> they're professional operators. They are awesome. They, Make you want to hug him. Hug it out. over to our site if you want to read up on how Jason lost the I mean how we lost the footage and see more photos from the trip thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs>